Hello, it's friends. As I promised, I'm here with the tutorial about this earring. The only difference uh, is uh, that I changed the color of the beads because I had some troubles with, with my beads and so I've lost some of them and so I hadn't enough uh, to, to create another earring and so I, I decided to change this color. I like this color but for all the rest of the earring the pattern is the same. So. I hope that the tutorial will be very clear and see you soon on the next video. To Bye. create one earring you need one needle, I'm using a John James needle size 12. Then you need a bead weaving thread, I'm using this one, Sono. You need 10 donuts, size 4 mm, 10 Swarovski bicons, size 4 mm, one rhinestone size 4 millimeters. The important thing is that this rhinestone must have this cross on the back. In this way you can sew the rhinestone on the beadwork. Then work. you need 5 drops. I'm using these ones by Miyuki and these drops are size 3.4 millimeters. Then you need 3 different sizes of golden seed beads size 15, size 11 and size 8. You also need some white seed beads size 11. If you want and if you can, you can replace these white seed beads size 11 with some white seed beads size 9. Maybe this one by Guterman, they are perfect. And you need a wire. It's very important that the wire is very strong because uh, we're going to use this wire to create the hook of the earring, okay? Pick up this specific uh, sequence of beads one donut, one seed bead size 11, one donut and one bicon. Carry all the beads to the end of the thread and then sew through all the beads to close the working around. Sew through the beads uh, a couple of times because in this way the thread will be fixed on the work. To start adding some new beads, you have to go outside one donut in this direction. Pick up this sequence of bead, one golden seed bead size 11, one donut and one bicon. Then sew through the donut you're just going out from. Sew through the seed bead and also sew through the last donut you put on the work, in this way. Now, since we are close to the bicon, we have to change the sequence of beads. The first bead of the sequence will be the bicon, then the donut and then the golden seed bead size 11. And sew through the donut in this direction. Now we have to sew through the bicon and the donut. Now, since we are close to the seed bead, to the golden seed bead, the sequence will be first the seed bead size 11, then the donut and then the bicon. It's really very easy to know which is the right sequence because you always have to start with the bead you are close to, in this case the seed bead, then in the middle you put a donut and the third bead will be the last one, so in this case the bicon, okay? Sew through the donut and then sew through the seed bead and the donut. You have to repeat the same steps until you put on the work the 10 donuts. As you can see I've put on my work 10 green donuts. 3, 6, 9, 10, okay? And my thread is close to the golden seed bead. So I pick up one seed bead size 11 and I sew through the first donut of the work in this direction. So I've just closed my working around. I need the last bead that will be a bicon. Then I sew through the last donut I put on the work. And I also sew through the next two 
Golden Seed Beads size 11. I pick up another Golden Seed Bead size 11 and I sew through the two seed beads size 11 I'm just going out from. I pick up one white seed bead size 11 or size 9, it depends on the bead you choose to, to use for this beadwork and sew through the next two golden seed beads. Now repeat the last two steps until the end of the round. So pick up one golden seed bead, then sew through the seed beads you're just going out from, then add the white seed bead. And repeat these steps until the end of the round. I'm going to add the last white seed bead of the round and then I sew through the next two golden seed beads in this way. So I'm going out these two seed beads size 11 and I'm going through the seed bead just upon the two seed beads I was just going out from in the opposite direction. I pick up one golden seed bead size 15 and then I sew through the next golden seed bead size 11 and I repeat the same step four times until the end of the round. I'm going out from this seed bead size 11, okay? I pick up the rhinestone, then I skip four beads and I sew through the seed bead size 15. I'm going out from the seed bead size 15, so I sew through the rhinestone again, then I sew through the seed bead size 11 I was starting from at the beginning, okay? It's really really very easy, follow me. You started from the seed bead size 11, then you pick up the rhinestone and you go on the other side of the beadwork, there is opposite, you can find the seed bead size 15. You sew through the seed bead size 15 and then again you sew through the rhinestone and you go on the other side and there you can find the seed bead size 11 you were starting from, okay? Now we need to fix very well the rhinestone on the beadwork, so I'm going out from the seed bead size 11 and I sew through the next two seed beads. The first seed bead is a seed bead size 15 and then a seed bead size 11. Then I sew through the rhinestone. Remember, we have two benchmarks here, okay? And they are the first two beads we used to put the rhinestone on the beadwork. You remember that the first bead was the seed bead size 11 and the other bead is a seed bead size 15. These are our benchmarks, okay? Now we are on the other side of the rhinestone and we have to sew through the two beads that are placed before the benchmark. So this is one of our benchmark the seed bead size 15 I sew through the two beads that are placed before the benchmark in this way the first bead is a seed bead size 15 the next bead is a seed bead size 11 now we have the last step to fix the rhinestone on the beadwork, so follow me because it will be very easy. Sew through the benchmark, so sew through the seed bead sides 15. Then sew through the next two golden seed beads. Okay, so the first bead will be a seed bead sides 11, then a seed bead sides 15. Now sew through the rhinestone. And now we have the other benchmark, that's uh, the seed bead size 11 and we have to sew through the two beads before this benchmark. So I'm sewing through these two beads. 
one seed bead size 11 and one seed bead size 15. Now we have fixed the rhinestone on the beadwork. The, the hardest part of this uh, tutorial is finished <laughs> and now we can go on. So I sew through the next seed bead size 11, the golden seed bead, the benchmark, and then I also sew through the white seed bead. I pick up two seed beads size 15 and then I sew through the next white seed bead. And I repeat this step with the two seed beads size 15 four times until the end of the round. I'm going out from this white seed bead. Now I sew through the next golden seed bead and the donut. I also sew through one bicon. Then I pick up one seed bead size 8 and I sew through the next bicon. I repeat the same step for 9 times until the end of the round. To start adding some new beads, you have to go outside from one golden seed bead size 8 and this seed bead must be on the same line with the white seed bead. You see, this bead is on the same line while the next one isn't. Okay? Then pick up 5 seed beads size 8, skip the next seed bead size 8 and sew through the next one. And repeat the same step 4 times until the end of the round. I'm going to add the last 5 seed beads of the round and I sew through the bead between the two bicons. Then I sew through all the 5 seed beads. I pick up a drop and I sew through the next 5 seed beads. And I repeat this step 4 times until the end of the round. As you can see, I'm going out from one seed bead just after the drop. Then I pick up one seed bead size 8 and I sew through the bead just before the drop. Then I skip the drop and I sew through the next bead that is uh, the bead just after the drop. Now I pick up another seed bead size 8 and I skip the next bead and I sew through the next one. Again I repeat the same step, I pick up one seed bead size 8, I skip the next bead and I sew through the next one in this way. Now I skip the bead and I sew through the bead that is just after the drop. And now I have to repeat the same sequence, so I pick up one seed bead size 8 and then I sew through the bead just before the drop and then the bead after the drop and, and so on until the end of the round. When you reach the last free drop, as you can see I have a bead here in front of the drop and that's the same for the other three drops, but the fifth is free, hasn't a bead here. So now it's time to add the hook on the beadwork, okay? This is the hook. I know it doesn't seem like it's a hook, but it will be very soon. And it's very easy to make because first of all you need to cut a piece of wire and the length of this piece of wire must be 20 centimeters. Okay, then you need your round pliers and you have to leave 7 centimeters. Okay, then you put the plier and you push the wire all around your plier. And you have to create this little loop. Be careful because the size of the loop is quite the same the size of a bead size 8 okay then after 2 cm I used again my round plier and I made 
another loop here and even in this case the size of this second loop is quite the same the size of a bead size 8 as you can see okay also the position of the last part of the wire is very important so this part uh, must have this, uh, this position and this part must have this position okay at this point instead of using a new seed bead size 8 we're going to use the hook one loop of the hook okay so this is the loop we're going to use and we have to behave in the same way like if this loop is a bead okay so I saw through my loop here okay then I saw through the bead just before the drop as you can see and I skip the drop and I saw through the bead just after the drop okay now I go on as before so I pick up one seed bead the size 8 I skip the next bead and I saw through the second one and I repeat the same thing with another seed bead the size 8 but in this case I saw through the next two beads these two beads the bead before the drop and the bead after the drop before going on I filled the empty space inside the beadwork with a paper from a tissue or you can use the material you prefer even a sponge but you need to fill the empty space in the beadwork okay I'm going out from this seed bead size 8 so I saw through the next one here then I pick up one seed bead size 8 and I saw through the next three seed beads here at this point as before I'm going to consider this loop as a bead so without adding new beads I saw through the loop and then I saw through the next three seed beads in this way again I pick up one seed bead size 8 and I saw through the next three seed beads here I had another seed bead 8 size 8 and then I saw through the next three seed beads but in this case the the central seed bead is uh, the loop so I saw through the first seed bead the loop and the second seed bead it's very easy you just have to consider the loop as a bead I repeat this step for the last time I pick up one seed bead size 8 then I saw through the next three seed beads to be ready to start another round I also saw through the next bead then I pick up two seed beads size 8 and do you remember the group of three seed beads of the previous round okay you have to sew through these three seed beads in the opposite direction then in the opposite direction I sew through the two seed beads and I sew through the loop now again I have two seed beads to add on the work I pick up the beads, size 8, and then this is the group of three seed beads. I saw through the three seed beads in the opposite direction. Then I saw through the two beads, seed beads I've just added on my work, and I saw through the next one too. Now you have to repeat the same steps for other two times. It's really very easy because you know. These are the first group of three seed beads. The second group is this one. In this case we have two seed beads and one loop. And then the third group is this one. One, two, three. Okay, very easy. I'm going out from these two 
seed beads size 8, I pick up one seed bead size 11 and I sew through the two seed beads I'm just going out from. Then I sew through the next two seed beads and I repeat the same step. I pick up one seed bead size 11 and I sew through the two seed beads I was just going out from. Then I sew through the next two seed beads and I repeat the same step three times here, here and here. As you can see I have added all the five seed beads size 11. Now I sew through the seed bead size 11 I'm just added on, on my work. Then I pick up one seed bead size 15 and I sew through the next seed bead size 11 and I repeat the same step four times until the end of the round. The last step is sewing through all the seed beads size 11, only the seed beads size 11 and I'm starting from this seed bead size 11. I sew through the next one and the important thing to do is that the seed bead size 15 between, between the two seed beads size 11 um, must be placed at the base of the seed beads size 11 and the thread that joins the two seed beads size 11 must be toward the, the center of the beadwork. Okay, so the seed beads size 11 must be tightened in the middle of the beadwork and the seed beads size 15 must be placed at the base of the seed beads size 11 near the seed beads size 8. Now I, I will show you what I mean. Here you see these are the seed beads size 11 and they are all very tight in the middle of the beadwork while the seed beads size 15 this one are put down near the seed beads size 8 to place the beads in this way you just have to be careful that the thread must be upon the seed beads size 15 in this way the seed bead size 15 will be moved down close to the seed beads size 8 okay now we have to work on the wire to get this shape at the base of the earring and it's very easy because you just need some round pliers you put the pliers in this way then you pull the wire in this way then you place your round plier here and you pull the wire all around your plier okay it's not very easy to do because my my wire is very strong as must be yours but you can okay and now you have to cut the wire then here you just have to put your plier in this position and then you have to push the wire then you cut the thread and if you want you can give the, the last part of the hook this particular shape in this way it will be very easy to, to wear the earring ok so the earring is completed I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you soon in the next video bye bye